In this video, we're going to look at how project risk analysis works in three minutes. First, we need a project plan. It's obviously a schedule with relationships between activities and durations. If we're going to include cost analysis with it, for time independent costs, we can add fixed costs. And for time dependent costs, we can add resources. Next, we need a list of risks. The risk should have a risk name, obviously, a probability and impacts. And we're going to assign these risks to activities in the schedule. Next, we're going to add uncertainties. Uncertainties account for risk that's not associated with the risk events. Uh, could be to inaccurate estimates or other processes that uh, make the project go faster or slower than we originally thought. They are modeled with statistical distributions. And again, we're going to assign these uncertainties with statistical distributions to activities in the schedule. Next, we'll run a Monte Carlo simulation. And from this, we'll get the results of the simulation. Here, common view is a combined frequency and cumulative probability plot. This shows us A, the original schedule versus various confidence levels. And here we can see P50 and P80. P80 is often a, the confidence level that we will set schedule margin and cost contingency at. Next, another output is the ranking of risks based on some risk scores. We'll take those risks and we're going to manage them in various ways. One of them is that we can mitigate them. So here we're going to assign a mitigation plan to this risk. And it will have four activities, three activities, sorry, that will occur and reduce the risk down to where it's acceptable. Next, once we've managed those risks, we're going to optimize the schedule. And we're going to optimize the schedule by identifying those crucial activities that will have the most impact on the schedule. First place we'll look is sensitivity analysis. And the tornado diagram tells us which activities have the most impact on a particular project parameter, in this case, cost. The crucial task view takes that same analysis and plots it on the Gantt chart. It makes it very easy to identify those activities in the schedule where we should focus those optimization activities. Thank you very much for watching this video.